The president strongly clearly and consistently has denied these underlying claims. The only one who has been inconsistent is the one making the claims, Shah said. Pressed further, Shah said, the president doesn't believe that any of the claims miss. Daniels made in the interview are accurate. Shah pointed to Daniels past signed statements denying the affair to back up his argument that she has been inconsistent about her claims. My understanding is that she signed the statements that conflict with what she said last night, Shah said. Stormy Daniels, a man threatened me and my daughter over Trump story in 2011 Daniels told 60 Minutes on Sunday that she felt she had no choice but to sign the statements because of the non-disclosure agreement she had signed. Shah declined to say whether Trump watched Daniel's 60 Minutes interview with Anderson Cooper which aired Sunday night. The Daniels interview came despite a $130,000 hush agreement struck days before the 2016 presidential election between Daniels and Trump's personal attorney Michael Cohen. Daniel said she was violating her non-disclosure agreement and risking a $1 million fine because it was very important to me to be able to defend myself. Shaw was pressed Monday why Trump was allegedly involved in a $130,000 settlement payment to Daniels just days before the election if he denies the allegations of an affair. Shaw noted that false charges are settled out of court all the time and said such a payment would be nothing outside the ordinary but directed all questions about the payment to Cohen. False charges are settled out of court all the time. You have to ask Michael Cohen about the specifics, Shaw said.